Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about modifying collection using the hook PyTest Collection Modify Items. So just like there are times where we want to, say, dynamically parameterize the test, there are other times where we want to modify the tests that we already have collected. Now, one of the ways in which we can do this is through this hook called PyTest Collection Modify Items. Now, one of the things we can do with this hook is say, uh, add markers to tests that have already been collected. So let's go ahead and see an example of that today. And we'll open up this test modify collection.py file. And inside of here, we have um, some familiar faces that we've used many times in the past. We have our square function, which just squares a number. And then we have our test for a square function called test square. Now, the one thing that we've done with this test is we've parameterized it using our PyTest mark parameterized decorator. Now here we're creating a new parameter called initial value that we want to sweep over the values of zero through nine. So just range 10 values. So we're going to have 10 total variants of our test. Now let's say that we want to use this hook to apply a marker to half of these tests. So let's say every other test we want to apply an extra marker like pytest.mark.skip. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. And just like our other hooks and our test fixtures, we can place this hook inside of our conftest.py file. So inside of here, we have our definition for PyTest collection modify items. And uh, this function is going to have two parameters. It's going to have items, which are all the tests that um, PyTest has collected that we can start modifying. And then we have config, which is just our PyTest config that we've used in previous hooks in the past. And both of these things are built into PyTest. We don't have to define them ourselves. So let's go ahead and see how we can maybe uh, skip every other test. So what we'll end up doing here is we'll iterate over items, which again are just our tests. So we'll say for i comma item in enumerate items, and then we'll just do if i'm on two. So for every other test, we're going to add a marker to that test. So we're going to, for that test, which is this item, we're going to call add marker. And the marker we're going to add is just pytest.mark.skip. So every other test, we're going to add the skip marker with the reason of skipping every other test. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here. And the first thing we can do is say, just run collection. So we'll run pytest dash dash collect only on test modify collection.py. And we see all 10 of our test variants. So we still have all of our tests here. It's just that half of them now have the skip marker. So let's go ahead and see how that looks if we try to run all of these tests now. So we'll do pytest test modify collection.py. And we see this kind of alternating pattern where a test will run and then the next test skips and the next one runs. So we get this little green dot and then we get the little yellow or orange S saying it was skipped. And this continues for all 10 of our tests. So we wind up with five tests that run and pass and then five tests that were just skipped because you know after collection, this hook was called and we after the fact kind of applied this marker of pytest.mark.skip. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. It's a basic introduction to using this uh, pytest collection modified items hook. We'll be looking at this hook again to see how we can also deselect tests using this hook. Um, I'll go ahead and link down below this link to the official uh, documentation for uh, pytest collection modified items uh, from docs.pytest.org. You can find any of these examples, of course, on GitHub uh, dot com slash copy before arch. So you can go into repositories and then all of these examples will be under the PyTest repository. I've also written a number of guides on PyTest, which is which are under this PyTest guide repository. And I'll put a link below to this one on modifying collection in PyTest. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick and I hope you have a nice day.